Well, this is the first time I've ever listened to your show, and you, you make me want to rip my steering wheel out of my car. Oh, no. You guys have said some things. Don't that, do that. Well, I'm, not, I'm not literally. So a little while ago, somebody said that, because I'm a deputy sheriff, um, somebody said that police were getting killed because of the war on drugs. Because when we do drug raids on drug dealers' houses, that these people are shooting at us because they're protecting themselves in their homes. That's not the way it works. We have probable cause. We've got a warrant signed by a judge to go in and arrest these people and search their houses. They're not shooting at us to protect themselves. Okay. Well, first of all, Tony, let's, let's, like the terminology. let's be honest here. Uh, most of the people that are uh, that you do a drug raid on never shoot at you. It's very rare that that even happens. No, that's, but That's yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah, there are 50,000 drug raids in the yeah. United States, and most of them are, uh, excuse me, there are 50,000 raids in the United States per year. Most of them are drug-related. A and- lot of times when the cops get shot in these raids, it's actually not by a drug dealer. It's when they raid the wrong house, and it's just an average person like the 92-year-old Katherine Johnston in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, who was having her home raided by these scary armed men coming in, kicking in her door, shouting. She's awoken okay. from a dead sleep. She grabs her revolver, and she plinks off a few shots and uh, okay. shoots a cop. So that's generally what okay. happens. It's people defending their uh, their home as they should have a right to do, including people that are selling ke- uh, chemicals and plants. So, so your opinion is that if a judge signs a warrant and we raid your house, that during the process of that, when we know that you've sold dope to an undercover agent or whatever, that we're coming to arrest you, that it's okay for the drug dealers to shoot at the police, which compounds their problem, and but that's okay to you. Well, I would say that it would be reasonable help. to expect that to occur. That if somebody um, hears noises and um, sees things happening, and you know they they may grab their gun to protect their home. I think I'd say that it was it'd be reasonable to expect that to occur. Wouldn't you uh, be so willing to defend even, your no, families? No, 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 because uh, yeah, but, but but see, that here's the difference. Because I've got experience, and you don't. So when the police come and they raid your house and we're shouting every single room that we go into, Sheriff's Department search warrant, Sheriff's Department search warrant, there are red and blue lights going out. Going, that doesn't going make on. what you're and doing okay. And the rear of your house. It does make it okay. No, it does not, you sir. You're, you are no. invading <laughs> someone's <laughs> home. Does, you are invading a person's home. Are. You're invading the sanctity of that person's life and their family. And many people who are innocent have died in your, uh, your buddy's Please. raids, sir. Listen, we absolutely are invading your home. We absolutely are doing that, and we're doing that to protect your neighbors that despise you. We're doing that to protect everybody else in your community because they despise you. They despise That's the life ridiculous. That you Drug you, use is widespread in the United States, and many people, millions of Americans, use cannabis. Many of our neighbors are cannabis users. Some of them are probably the customers of the person whose home you're raiding, sir very, very, very small percentage of drug raids that I've ever been involved with are for cannabis, okay? You know that and I know that, but you're making a big deal about it. What Let's you, move on to another point. Well, what are you going to do to stop the, uh, I mean, the war on drugs, there hasn't been a, the needle hasn't been moved as far as addiction goes in the United States. Dr- drugs okay. are consumed like they have been last decade, the decade before that, the decade before that. Police are failing year after year after year after year, continuing failing. to Police collect more and more money. There's failing. more and more cops and they just continue to fail. What's your plan? Okay. So, so a couple of years ago, our beloved Congress spends three million dollars on an omnibus spending bill to research shrimp running on underwater treadmills. I would much rather prefer that money like that be spent on your department you know, going towards law enforcement. But yeah, the, you want more but money. But it has gone Thank towards law enforcement. Thanks for the enforcement. honesty. Um, the okay. Nixon. Nixon increased the uh, the money towards law enforcement and started the war on drugs. Uh, Reagan uh, increased it. Clinton increased it. God, Bush God increased it. Him. You've got your increase. God bless him. Okay. He but loves the money. Is, That's what it's all about. You want bigger budgets. Is, no, no, You're just another tax feeder, there. dude. There's, here's, here's one thing that you and I agree on. The problem is still there, okay? But don't expect me to or, or ask me to prove a negative. I can't prove a negative. But my, my argument to you would be, what happens if you pull that money away? You guys seem to think that if you legalize drugs, then all the crime 
that's involved with drugs. Um, one, you or your partner there said it that people are no longer going to break into people's Yeah, most of the most gonna, of that's, that's going to go That's what's happening away. in Portugal and that's what's happening in Amsterdam. Hold your, hold your thoughts there, Tony. You 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 know, maybe you don't understand economics. I mean, we can uh, discuss that with you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-free. That's 855-450-3733 for someone who loves money so much, you should probably learn a little bit about it. It's Free Talk Live. <laughs> 